Hello and welcome to 1936. I am Mark, the man behind the curtain, and today we're going to start a playthrough of the Soviet Union in Hearts of Iron 4, No Step Back. I've, uh, I've played Hearts of Iron before, both on stream and off, and they never seem to really go that well. I, I'm the kind of player who needs to win wars before they start, and if they start without me expecting them, then I'm kind of screwed. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know. Uh, my hopes are, are middling at best, let's say. Although I did try out uh, No Step Back earlier in the month, and I think my first playthrough, I lost a Russian Civil War basically immediately, but the second playthrough, I won immediately. So... I, I don't know what I've learned from this. It could go either way, I guess. But yeah, let's do it. Soviet Union. When the dust settles, let's go to full screen, I guess. Yeah, why not? All right, when the dust settled after the Russian Civil War, the USSR had emerged as the undisputed ruler over most of what once constituted the Russian Empire. Rapid industrialization and collectivization followed, often at a great cost in human lives. The Soviet Union is now faced with the threat of a resurgent Germany to the west and a belligerent Japan in the east. Of course, there are also internal threats within the ranks of the Communist Party to contend with. Yeah, that seems like us. What are our options? Behead the snake, Supreme Soviet, reconvene somebody I'm never going to reconvene. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Recruit, I guess. Regular. I'll do regular. Is that a good idea? I... I, I Hmm. I, I guess I'll do regular. Ugh, I've just signed my death warrant. Oh, uh... Remigazed saying regular and unhistorical AI. I meant to do unhistorical. Was that selected? I might actually just restart real quick because I want to make sure that's something that happens because, uh... That's, uh, my favorite way to have things go in this game. Yeah, that's a bad start. All right, new game. 36, Soviet Union. Oh, it was already unchecked. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, so what do we got? We got the Soviet Union. We got to research some stuff. I don't know, man. I am by no means an expert at this game. I always start with industrial because I feel like that gives you the like greatest benefits over time I would assume hey and thanks for following rig rib okay I'm gonna try here remigaz gazed that, that thanks for following and I also always build civilian factories <laughs> I almost never build military factories until it's like way too late I don't know we'll stick to the Bad plan. Military factories, we need guns, supplies, artillery, tanks, trucks. Mm, planes will worry about later. Not gonna import rubber just yet. I wanna keep all my factories building new factories. Okay, as for national focus, focus I, what do I like? We can do the infrastructure and industry stuff, but no, I want to do the political side. And again, I think there's a really good chance I'm signing my death warrant here, but uh, given the option to bring back Trotsky and form a gentler, kindler, kindler, kind, fuck it. Uh, I want to, I want to make like a Soviet Union that Lenin would be, would be proud of. And I think I gotta do the, the Trotsky path. Oh, God. All right, well. Lenin, smile upon me. For Stalin shall not. Decisions. We're gonna not do any decisions for a while. Uh, da, 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 da. Another thing I always kind of do... I know this is going to be pointless, because if we do... Like, I always try to organize my divisions right at the start. But there's going to be a civil war, so doing that seems pointless when it's all going to get reset at some point anyways. 
Vanaheim story saying, restore the Tsar over my dead body. The Tsar is never coming back as long as I'm uh, a part of this Soviet Union. Never. Never. And, yeah. Kurif is saying this game looks so confusing at most. Uh, Stellaris is the most confusing I can go. Yeah, uh, it took me literally years to learn Hearts of Iron, and I'm still miserable at it. And they, they've added more stuff, too, in this expansion that I haven't tried out at all. So you can... Uh, it looks like a tank designer now. Uh, there's a whole system with trains. And I think you can actually see the rail lines now. Like, good God, I can't figure all this out. I'm an idiot. Maybe we can speed things up just a bit here. Office Core Logistics. Recruit and deploy. I guess we should recruit. I want cavalry, actually. I feel like that's what's going to win me the Civil War. Not that many, because I'm just going to disband them. Uh, Wormwood fan saying, if you want to go with a kinder USSR, you should go with right opposition, not left. Is that true? I was always kind of a Trotsky guy. Uh, you're saying the right opposition. Stalin's paranoid leadership is just trying to come. Uh, da, 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 da. Interesting. Okay, what's his stuff? We must walk before we can run. Huh, reverse the collectivization process. Okay, he's making some good points. Concessions to foreign powers? Whoa, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. All right, let's pause this sucker. Uh, socialist humanism. Yeah, I'm not loving this. No, we got to do the World Revolution. That's what Lenin would have wanted. So we're going to do left. Or are we? I don't know. God damn it. The Faithful Servant. Now Stalin's a dick. Left opposition. Okay. It is clear that the Soviet Union has deviated from its promised path. Now there is even talk of building socialism in one country, abandoning the workers of the world to their fate instead of standing in solidarity with them. If Comrade Stalin won't act, others certainly will. Oh, boy. Yeah, this guy is against everything that I like. Okay. This this feels like the worst of both worlds in, on the right. We're going to do our man Trotsky. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah, so we got Mongolia on our side. We've already won. Don't know what Germany's doing. Don't know what France is doing. Poland. I, I guess my, my overall goal is going to be get the Soviet Union under Trotsky's control as soon as possible. Prepare for war against Germany. Lose that war. Restart the stream. That's that's how I imagine this is going to go. Though, you know what? It does occur to me that if I start training military units, I can get uh, army experience. So, I don't know. Let's do this military district for now. Under the command... Oh, Zukov. We'll get the AK and KVD out of there. Alright, they're training. Cool.
Not really much of a plan here. I feel like I just need to train a bit so I can get army experience. Yeah, that's about as good as I can do. Okay. And uh, Remigazred saying, after Trotsky is in control, you can release all nations in USSR to be puppets. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go that far. Let's not do anything crazy here. We still need a Soviet Union. Hey, and Surnier85, thanks for subscribing. Very much appreciated. All right, let's make the sucker go even. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. I sped up the game for one second. Remilitarization of the Rhineland. Yeah, that's to be expected. All right, Yosef, or Isov for Joseph. Stalin considered about factionalism. In a recent session of the Central Committee, Comrade Stalin noted the growing factionalism with inside the party. While all members of the committee were quick to assure him of their full and unconditional support, this has apparently done very little to ease his concerns. According to Comrade Stalin, we must always be vigilant for saboteurs and wreckers who plot against the state in whatever position they may be. Alright, so now we got the paranoia thing going on. And Turkey seizes control over the Bosphorus. Ah, uh, fuck those guys. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk has declared that the Turkish Straits will now fall under the complete control of Turkey, thus giving the Turkish government the ability to close the Straits to us at their own discretion. This is absolutely unacceptable. It means that the Turkish government has decided that they have the right to trap our own fleets in the Black Sea whenever they feel it politically expedient to do so. Mobilize the armed forces. We're not, we're not allowing this. I hope it doesn't lead to war, but uh, I don't think it will. And if it does, we'll back down. <laughs> All right, what do we need first? Uh, military support, 100%. Stalin's paranoia, currently at 0%. And we need to set up a secret uh, headquarters. Let's do... Ufa, maybe. Although, if we do in Odessa, we can't be surrounded. We could kind of build up from here, make a drive towards... Mo let's, let's do Odessa. Oh, it's worth the most uh, things. That's probably be a good point. Cool. We can forge... Pro oh, okay, what's this? Turkey compromises on the remilitarization of the Straits. After much negotiating... The Turkish government has decided to take control over the Straits while still permitting free access to all nations bordering the Black Sea. The ironclad proposal provided by Turkey leaves little room for protest and has already been hastily approved by Bulgaria and Romania, which ultimately ties our hands. All right, well, that's... That's done. I guess we, uh... Huh. All right, good job, everybody. All right, so by forging production reports, we lower Stalin's paranoia by minus 20. Right now, he's only at 2, so that doesn't seem necessary. We can also modify the government. So let's do uh, industrial concern once we can afford it, which won't be for a bit. I'm really digging this system. It's cool to be playing against the leader of your own faction. <laughs> Modify the officer core. Can I do that? Nope, I need political power for other stuff. All right, what's going on? Oh, Ethiopia capitulated. Yeah, that's, you know, not surprising. Still not a whole lot of army experience coming in. All right, next up, let's research tanks. 1934 medium. This political paranoia is now at 12%.
Second London Naval Treaty signed, delegations from Britain, France, Italy, Japan, and the U.S. met in December of 1935 to discuss a renewal of the first London Naval Treaty, which restricted the number and size of cruisers and submarines. Okay. Ooh, Stalin's trying to get a... Oh, okay, what's going on here? Military support. Excellent. His paranoia is now at 40%. So let's uh, forge some production reports that get that down to 20. Uh, next up. What do I want to do? Um, support from party members. No, I want to infiltrate the NKVD first so I can reduce this paranoia further. I can also recruit a general, recruit an admiral, increase army support. Okay. I want to get as much army support as possible. Right now I'm at Uh, anticipate Bacon, great name by the way, asking what is the path you're going down? I'm doing the left opposition to Stalin. I'm trying to bring back Trotsky and uh, export the revolution worldwide. I don't know how well it's going to go, but uh, we'll see. My support's now at 30%. And his paranoia is at 26%. All right, conspiracy amongst civil servants. The NKVD has discovered evidence of a large-scale conspiracy inside the civilian administration. It appears that some bureaucrats in the state planning committee have gotten very cozy with some factory managers and adjusted their project. Oh, shit, he caught me. Uh, If I do this, it's going to hurt my construction speed and political power gain, but it decreases his paranoia by 20 yeah, that seems like the thing to do. Now he's down to 10. Hopefully, shit, I might have miscalculated here because this production reports thing. Wait, no, that already came into effect. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, I was worried I was going to reduce this paranoia below what it could actually go down, but I think we're fine. Construction's a bit slower, but hey, these things happen. Look at that. Two army experience are blowing up over here. Let's also adjust the production here a bit. All right, infiltrate the NKVD. That's done. Excellent. Next up. Uh, gain support from party members. Hey, Stalin failed this constitution. Good work, idiot. And his paranoia is 10%. Leroy the Pole saying, I like that there are pictures of people Stalin purged next to the paranoia meter. I actually hadn't noticed that. I wish you could tell who that was, but uh, good to know. The Games of the Olympiad. The 11th Olympic Games were recently held in Berlin, Germany, attended by athletes from 49 different nations across the world. The 1936 Summer Olympics are the first in history to have enjoyed limited live television coverage. The Games were a significant propaganda victory for the German regime, which spent lavishly on the event. German athletes got 33, Americans 24. Oh, well, we didn't get enough to warrant any kind of note, apparently. That sucks. Leroy the Pole saying, expand the territory that Trotsky will start with by clicking the pictures on the map. See, 
I tried this in one of my playthroughs and I didn't love it. Uh, because when my forces started concentrated in one uh, territory, I was able to take all the surrounding territories like lickety split. So spending, uh, you know, political power and raising paranoia just to get another couple territories did not seem worth it to me at all. I could be wrong, but that's my gut feeling. So. Also, Wormwood fans saying, I don't think the USSR participated in those Olympics. Oh, shit. Is that true? Okay. Well, in that case, what do I know? Leroy the Paul saying, yeah, but don't you start with more units that way? I don't think so. I didn't notice any significant difference. Oh, but uh, Venterel saying it does raise army and population support as well. So increases the amount of units you start with. Ah, okay. I still, I just don't love it, man. It, like it's costing me 10 paranoia. But, uh, already at 18, increasing the army support. All right, well, I'll, I'll take it under advisement, but uh, I'm going to see how the paranoia things go. If, if it looks like we're doing well, then maybe I'll start expanding outwards. But uh, right now. I'm looking at some of these support for the opposition and the armed forces increases by up to 2%. All right, fuck it. Let's let's grab a couple of these. Let's grab that one. The other side of the river is probably a good uh good territory to take, right? So we're we're not immediately like bottled over there. Political paranoia now at 30%. And it's going to increase by 10 as soon as this finishes. Ugh, I need a drink. Oh, damn. I got AK-47 vodka somewhere in this house. Why didn't I bring that? <laughs> to defeat Stalin, I must think like Stalin. Oh shit, crackdown in the Ukraine. Gain support from party. Okay, we're we're on our way. Let's increase the speed here just a bit. Alright, Conspiracy in the Academy. An anonymous informant has revealed the existence of a group of students in one of our most prestigious military academies. This group, it appears, has decided to study more than just the approved coursework and have discussed the ideas of disgraced and reactionary theorists. The Academy is the place to ask questions. I wholeheartedly agree with this, but I want to decrease paranoia, so shit. Sorry, students. Alright, his paranoia is down to 20. God damn it. This is why I want to get rid of Stalin. What a dick. God damn. He's ruining the Soviet Union. All right. We got support from party members. Next up. Uh... Hmm. Cooperation against Stalin. Whatever our differences at this stage, the struggle, the struggle we must be. Oh, whatever at this stage in the struggle we must be united. Okay, got it. Going to increase paranoia by 20. That ain't great. We got to unite the left and right here. All right, first Moscow trial. Oh, shit. Interesting. So. Political paranoia is about to decrease by 50. Okay, that's good. So now it's down to 10. So let's increase army support. Poland seizes Danzig, the free city of... Okay.
My support's still only at 30. That sucks. Integrate the... Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, I got slightly better tanks. Let's do construction next. After this, I might start switching to some... Uh... Oh, a royal wedding in Brazil. I don't think I care about this. Yeah, I don't care. Hmm. Integrate Chernogrov. Chernogov. Perhaps. It's going to increase by 10. We'll see what happens with the army support. Or Kiev would also be a good one. Hey, the crackdown on the Ukraine failed. Oh, look at that. My popular support is now at 40%, especially in the army. Paranoia is only at 24%. So let's grab Kiev. 34. And... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll call it there. 34%, okay. And it's about to go up by 20. Don't love that. Do any of these things uh, help with his uh, paranoia? No, I guess they're all limited to the Civil War and the political paranoia thing. Okay, makes sense. Oh, what do we got? Advisor accused of treason. I've arrested Carl Reddick on, on charges of espionage. I don't know who this is, which means you can probably get rid of him. A tumor so close to the heart must be exercised without mercy. Minus 30. Yes. Now we're at 8. So let's grab... Chernogorov. No, let's, uh, I don't know. Recruit a general. Let's do nothing for now. We'll see what this, uh, does. 40% though, that ain't bad. Wouldn't mind more Air Force support, though. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's grab Trinograv, maybe. I don't know. Fuck. Very split. Spain wants to move troops through our territory. Yeah, why not? If it'll help with your war, I got nothing against it. I could also try to help him out, send some armor divisions right over there. That's two. That's four. How many divisions can I send? Seven divisions, great. One more armored division. Although Spain is kind of mountainous, isn't it? Ah, too late. Beauty. All right, Roca, this guy I like, but can't pronounce his name. You're going to Spain. Will any of this help with paranoia? Not that 
really matters at this point. Concentrated industry, got that. Let's do it again. Anticipate Bacon asking, when do you want to kick off the Civil War? Uh, over 50% minimum. I'd love 70 to 80 to 100. <laughs> Basically, I'm not going to kick off the Civil War until I'm at 100%. It depends on when Stalin decides he's going to kick it off, so... It's up to him. Just got to be in the best position I can I can grab when uh, shit goes down. All right, let's grab Chernogrov, 26%. Hey, the divisions in Spain arrived. Okay, great. Um, first things first, let's try to fix the salient. Leroy the Pole says, you're sending a Polish-born former Tsarist cavalryman turned Soviet commander to fight in Spain against Germans and Italians. So, we call that Tuesday, baby. Drowsy Drips asking, what kind of Russia are you planning on making? I'm not making Russia, baby. This is the Soviet Union or nothing. Uh, but I want an internationalist Soviet Union that's gonna cause the workers to... Uh, Overthrow the bourgeoisie everywhere, etc., etc. You know the drill. I, I want a Soviet Union that Lenin would be proud of. That's that's all I've ever wanted. Now, am I living in the shadow of a dead man, and is that going to cause me more hardship and pain than if I just tried to be my own person? Maybe, but uh, hey, them's the breaks, right? All right, cooperation against Stalin is happening. We are now at 50% paranoia. Repeat, 50% paranoia. Is there anything I can do to reduce that? Huh. Uh, how about... Uh, let's get the railway on our side. That couldn't hurt. There's nobody in the government who's going to help with uh, his paranoia, right? I don't think so. Not that I could afford them if there were. Better to keep my political power for these decisions, I guess. Alright. Let's launch the attack over here. Admiral Vladimir Kasinatov. Again, a name I don't recognize, which means we can get rid of him. Uh, okay, political para... Paranoia, rather. It decreases by 10. You're now at 42. Still not great. It's possible sending my tanks into the mountains wasn't a smart move. Hopefully we're killing some Germans at the uh, very least. I'd love to forge some more production reports. We're currently winning. It doesn't look like we're winning. Oh, now we're losing. All right, well, that's no good. Well, we'll come back to that. I'm sure they're going to try very hard. In fact, how's our production looking anyways? We need rifles. We need artillery. We need basically everything, as per usual. 
Let's uh, replace strategic bombers with tactical bombers. I think we can also, you know, we got some good progress on these submarines. I guess we'll keep them in production, even if they are kind of uh, growing obsolete. Political paranoia, 48%. Almost got the railway workers on our side. Improved machine tools. Next up, support weapons. Support's still only, on, only at 42%, that sucks. But I can increase army support. Latvia declared war on the Latvian People's Republic. And we've swayed the railway workers. Mikhail Tukajewski is without a doubt one of our greatest military thinkers. While his theories of fast moving combined arms units striking deep into the enemy rear are not without their critics, he still enjoys the support of some very capable. Yeah, let's get this guy on our side. Paranoia is at 55% though. Can we help these guys? Uh... Hmm. All right, not much we can do to help them. I get it. What about over here? Latvia is already my puppet, apparently. Didn't catch that. Yeah, they're part of the common term. All right. Well, good work, everybody. Mimir Lemur asking, have you ever heard of Supreme Ruler Ultimate? Ah, uh, I think I might have seen an advertisement for it somewhere. It, it struck me as like a knockoff of uh, Hearts of Iron. Am I wrong? 61% paranoia. At 42% support. Shit, shit, shit. I, wait, here we go. This is going to help. Disloyalty in the NKVD. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do this immediately. A group of junior NKVD officers have approached Joseph Stalin with evidence that the current head of the NKVD has been making plans to take over control of the capital in the event of major unrest. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, weaken the NKVD, which is investigating me. Reduces paranoia by 30. Beauty. And... mo 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 Thank you for following. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Let's get army support. So we're at 33... Now we're at 63. Fuck! That went bad. Uh, forge production reports. Uh, that's what's going to help us here. 43. Great. We got mountains, we got mountains. Okay, my tanks are in the wrong spot. We need to go here. Japan declared war on Japan. Okay, the Japanese People's Republic requests assistance. The Japanese People's Republic is currently embroiled in a destructive civil war and is having trouble matching their enemy's military strength. Their transitionary government has now approached our representatives with an offer to trade the southern Sakharin Peninsula for military assistance. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm going to lose all the manpower, but hey, that's what happens, right?
Can I send volunteers? I can send two volunteers. That's probably not enough to make a difference. But you never know. All right, let's send two mountain divisions. A lot of mountains in Japan. Oh, Stalinist. Yeah. We'll send the Stalinist to uh, fight with the Japanese. All right, Godspeed. I mean, Lenin's speed. Meanwhile... How are you doing over here? We'll wait till everyone's in position. Let's... Maybe we don't wait till everyone's in position. Let's just go for it. Alright, what else do we got going on in the world today? How's the paranoia? 49, shit. How's our support? 52, okay. We're, we're, we're looking a little better. A 50% is my minimum, obviously, for uh, starting the war. So this is, uh, this is good. If we can just keep getting that up. All right, what's going on in Japan? I don't think these guys are going to win the war, so we'll just uh, get them to help out wherever the Japanese need them. Damn, People's Republic is doing pretty well, though. If they win, that uh, it's going to fix my Eastern problem. All right, General Alexander Gorbachev accused of treason. Uh, again, if it's a name I recognize, that means I can't afford to lose him. And I don't recognize the name. I apologize, Gorbachev. We uh, got to get rid of him. It's for the greater good. Oof, political power took a hit there. I'm losing political power. Is it because... Why is it... Shit. This is going to be bad. Can I get rid of this guy? Understaff bureaucracy... Factionalism, stability. All right, as soon as this finishes, we need to get more political power because this right now is a nightmare scenario. Fifty-four percent. Okay. Things look like they're going kind of well over here, so that's something. All right, we got What's-His-Face and Forces... Oh, hey, they won! The Japanese People's Republic. Not aggression pact, my friends. Yeah. All right, the second Moscow trial. Political paranoia decreases by 50. Right now it's at 86. Okay. I need a lot more political power. This would give me 50.
Political power 120. Yeah, let's do that. Understaffed bureaucracy gets moved in June though, so that's something. Man, it's nice to have uh, Japan on the winning team. That's gonna really help me out. And yet they don't want to be part of my faction. Let's speed it up just a bit here. Sixty one percent. That's good. Disloyalty in the NKVD, obviously, there's disloyalty there. Hmm, let me get Beria involved. Political paranoia increases by an extra two weekly, but it decreases it immediately by 30. That sucks, but, uh, hmm. I think I gotta do it. Weekly gain now 3%. Eh, that's not the worst. Fourth International is doing its thing. 40 more days. I feel like we've made some good progress on the Spanish front. Man, yeah, look at that. Oh, the Hindenburg blew up. That's rough. More industry. Let's get radios. All right, what's gonna help us the most in the civil war here? I don't know. I'll just keep doing industry. Oh shit, my support's down to 59. Fourth International. Political power gain minus five. Shit, this is already killing me. But let's increase uh, army support. We're at 46. 76, shit. I keep getting bad rolls. Cavalry commanders. I don't know if we need him necessarily, but hmm. Yeah, let's do committee. Uh, we can never be sure. We must prepare clandestine routes and safe houses to smuggle people out of the country if you find out. Oh. Interesting. That might be not a terrible idea. Stalin's paranoia is, uh... It's getting places. 
Air Force General is implicated. Held accountable. Yes. We are getting rid of people I don't know the names of. Great. 52. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. And we no longer get understaffed bureaucracy, which means we're making political power. Yes, we are. Okay, thank fuck. Anarchist uprising. Oh, Jesus. It never ends, does it? Uh. Do I no longer have guys helping them out? What is going on here? Is there any specific reason why I can't see the front here? Am I, am I blind? All right, well. Ah oh, man, Amelia Earhart. That sucks. Yeah, Spain just got screwed big time. Yeah, looks like our guys made it home. Okay, advisor accused of treason, Litinov. Yeah, I think we can get rid of him. Hey, Silent Brad, thanks for uh, subscribing. 11 months, hell yeah. His paranoia is down to 31%. Our support is at 69, nice. Uh, let's try to get the Air Force on our side. We're at 31, 41. Okay, that's acceptable. Hey, Latvia got annexed by uh, the SSR. Okay, the capitalists are our worst threat to us both. Yes, I'll do this only because I want the armor technology. U.S. Congress passes Neutrality Act. All right, fair enough. Alexander Yegorov. Okay, yeah, sorry, buddy. A little bit later when we could have saved you, but uh, no such luck. 35%, okay. Boy, do I need more political power. Trying to declare war on Sink King. Okay, Committee in Exile, got it. Next up, uh, funds for the cause. Align whoever these guys are. Grigory Zinev one-sided with Stalin against Trotsky. Immediately afterwards, Stalin betrayed him. Do we want this guy? He initially sided against us. Or liberate this guy. Oh, Comrade Ryutin, Rutin was never hesitant to call out the many flaws and shortcomings of Stalin. Uh. Yeah, okay. Anti saboteur campaign, political paranoia decreases by 20. Yes. Damn, I need more political power, though. Uh, Mr. Mag asking, is there an end date to this? What happens if it goes into World War II? Or, like, can you avoid that based on how you play? Yeah, so uh, the end date... I don't know if there's, like, a set end date, but I think most campaigns end in the late 50s, mid-50s, something like that. Mods, obviously, can extend that quite a lot. 
Uh, but yeah, World War II is basically inevitable. It's just a matter of what kind of World War II it's going to be. Right now, it's looking very different because we got a communist uh, uh, Japan. And the Germans, I don't know what they're doing. America looks like it's being very neutral, so hard to say what's going to happen. That, that's the beauty of this game. It can go uh, any number of ways. Man, another uprising in the Spanish Civil War. Yeah, and the Spanish Civil War is just a giant mess. I can increase army support for 100 political power, which I don't have. Damn, damn, damn. Currently at 69 still. I don't know. Is anyone else feeling very tense? I'm really goddamn tense. I need a drink. Ugh. Oh, shit. All right. I should not reach for drinks when the game is running. Okay. Anti saboteur campaign minus 10. And now our support's at 74%. Love it. Love it. Including 74% of the army. Yeah. The army is what I'm focusing on. The army is what's going to win this for me, I think. Okay. Got enough political power to do some stuff. Once I get to 100, I'll increase army support one more time. And then we'll see how that goes. His paranoia is now at 71. I think we might... Uh... I think I think we're getting close to the end game here, or the early game. <laughs> you know what I mean. Great Purge, Trials of the General. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, it's happening. I think I could have avoided that. I'm actually going to try one thing, if you'll forgive me here. I'm going to save scum. Only because I should have saved, or I should... Oh, I should have had events pause this game. That's what I haven't been doing. So let's uh, make that happen. Pause the notifications. There we go. Because now his paranoia is down to 30. Perfect. Align these guys. Sure. 70%. Come on, can we do better, please? Just need slightly more political power. Send supporters abroad. What does that get me? The safest place to K. The following characters will be sent into exile. Is that worth it? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Just need that sweet, sweet army support. Not that guy. Simon Budini accuses Constantine Ruska, whatever. This is a transparent ploy by Budini to save his own skin. Yeah, we'll do that. So we keep Rokoskovsky, who I can't pronounce. And his political paranoia goes down by 20. 
Thank God, we need him. Almost there. Almost there. Seventy two, that's a lucky number. Sixty five. We are getting so close. All right, I'm not going to do another national focus. I'm instead going to wait a couple weeks to get enough political power to go to align more of the army. Conspiracy in the academy. Oh shit, I can secure Moscow and Leningrad. What's going to be worth it? More army support or securing Moscow? We're at 72%. I would have liked to have been around 80, but let's get Moscow. His paranoia is now at 60. Okay. Fifty more days. Fifty more days might decide this sucker. We can also secure Leningrad. 72%. 86, 87. 10 more days. Germany's doing his thing. Bulgarian government supports. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Mr. Magoo asking so oh oh conspiracy sneak oh, okay let's pause. Uh, probably a silly question asking Mr. Magoo, but I assume you could also play as any other nation. Yeah, literally any other nation in the game. They're not necessarily all as detailed as the Soviet Union, but uh, if you want to play as Tibet, you can. Iron Wolf, Lithuania. Okay, I don't know what the hell that's about, but we got bigger... F okay. Uh, increase army support. Why can't I? Ah, oh, damn it. I can't do this. Okay, that was a bit of a waste. I should have checked that. Let's instead secure Leningrad. We're going to increase uh, the Air Force. And I think that's going to kick things into, into top gear here. Seventy-seven percent. Mr. Magoo saying, cool, I feel like I need to play as Canada and take over the world. I think you could. Um, I've played as Canada a few times. You could become Communist Canada. You could become Nazi Canada. <laughs> Bunch of options. The Nationalists won the Spanish Civil War. Oh, it's happening. Okay, war it is. Comrades, the time has once again come to raise the banners and go to war for the revolution. Before we can rescue the proletariat, we must regain control of the Soviet Union. Just like we defeated the white armies, we must now defeat those that stand in the way of the true revolution in the motherland. Okay, here we go. We got 114 divisions. Uh, what do we got? We got... Cavalry, great. Whoops, we did not pause. Okay, we still... Um, Civil War has once more, once more erupted in Russia with memories of the last Civil War still fresh in everyone's mind. It is a bit of a surprise that it would come to this. 
After years of political infighting between the Stalinist and Trotskyist factions, the Soviet government is finally split, and the two groups now battle in the streets for control of the country. Lev Trotsky has declared himself the leader of what he calls the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia. A bit of a mouthful on that one, Trotsky. All right, so this is kind of our NKDV slash militia force. We got mountain divisions. Uh, sure, buddy. Next. 56 infantry divisions. Get that down to a more manageable size. Okay. Go that way. Cavalry. Cavalry is going to make a beeline for Moscow. Same with the armor. And I want everyone to be as reckless as humanly possible. We need to secure as much territory as quickly as possible. As for these guys, they'll bit the garrison. Oh, partisans have joined the uprising. All right, so we've got partisans kind of all over the place. Make a mad rush for Leningrad, boys. You guys, make a mad rush for Moscow. You guys, for Stalingrad. All right, I think I've done everything I can here. It's in the hands of our generals now. I'd love to take Moscow. Oh, we also got to uh, set a national focus here. Strengthen the mobilization plan. More people in mobilization speed. Yeah. Did I forget to actually implement those plans? Okay, here we go. Excellent, we've cut off Soviet troops here. I should say Stalin, he's not a true Soviet. We're expanding in all directions. How's the cavalry doing? Yeah, cavalry is going to save my ass here. And we'll use civilian factories to just repair stuff, I guess, but we'll also build just one civilian factory, I guess. Music's kicking in like that. Oh, damn, we lost the partisans over there.
But it's all looking good. Commandeer civilian trains. I don't know if that's necessary quite yet because I don't know how that works. Why are these guys not forcing the front line? Come on, keep going, guys. Speed is of the utmost importance here. Strengthen the mobilization plan. Cohesion first. I feel like we're making good progress. Closing in on Moscow. Oh, he also took Stalingrad. <laughs> That's gotta be such a kick in the teeth. Closing in on Moscow. Tundra Fox Ned asking, should we rename it Trotsky Grad? I don't want to fall into the cult of personality. We got to be better than that. I think we should rename it Volgograd. I mean, he's about to take it back, but still. We, we got Moscow. I hate the idea of weakening the country with a civil war right before the Germans invade, though. That's gonna be bad. Army stockpile captured in Krasnodar. Excellent. I'm surprised we didn't get any event from capturing Moscow. Stravopol. Cohesion first. Rehabilitate military, yes. Army stuck while captured Nevada, Nevada, whatever. I gotta learn how to pronounce these things. I keep saying I'm such a big fan of the Soviet Union, yet I can't pronounce anything. And Skirk128, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. Oh, we got a bit of a problem over here. Okay, we're gonna have these two pockets wiped out pretty quick and hopefully we can redeploy to the south here. But we're also gonna be, uh, yeah, there we go, that's stabilized. I had a bunch of planes just standing by. That's that's 
No good. I think it's those events, actually. Navy defections. Excellent. Come on, we gotta get Leningrad back. Novgorod. Unrest in the Soviet Union. Reports suggest that our latest victories in the field, such as the capture of a place I can't pronounce, have led to protests all around the Soviet Union. Naturally, Stalin's cronies are striking these protests down brutally, but regardless, it is bound to impact the Soviet war effort negatively. Unrest in the Soviet Union. Come on, let's grab Leningrad. Oh, we got Leningrad. Hell yeah. Where's the Soviet capital now? That's another question. Oh, Vladivostok. That sucks. What a cheater. We were advancing on almost on all fronts, pretty much unopposed. How's that for an offensive line? Oh, we there it is. Victory. The war against Stalin is over. The dictator has been overthrown. Lev Trotsky has led us to victory. It is time to reignite the revolutionary flame and bring freedom to the working class across the globe. Yes, that's precisely what we're going to do. It does kind of seem like we lost our allies, though, during the war. Non-aggression packs will uh, get us back out there. The capitulation of the last remaining units. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, loyalty uh, Joseph Stalin marks the end of the Soviet Civil War. Leon Trotsky has declared himself victorious and has vowed to make the Union of Soviet Republics the, of Europe and Asia rise from the ashes of civil war and destruction. The task ahead is enormous and the world situation is unclear, but he is adamant that a new era for the Union of Soviet... We're going to call it the Soviet Union. For the world has just started, it remains to be seen whether he can live up to these declarations. Hungary joined the Axis. Okay, so... I don't like our new flag. That sucks. Okay, the capital. We can be Moscow, Leningrad, Petrograd, or Odessa. Uh, we're gonna go to Moscow. All our stuff's already there. Okay, we need more everything, is what I'm kind of just learning here. And even 40. There we go. We got to repair a bunch of crap. Yeah, we need more factories. Okay.
quit India movement as I'm sure going not so well. Tank divisions. Damn, the general situation is not looking spectacular. Splitter, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. We really should have mobilized the economy during that war. I can't believe I won without it. Okay. Uh, hey, Mr. Magoo, thanks for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Hell yeah. Very much appreciated. And enjoy the new emotes, which you now have access to. All right. The revolution is triumphant. The dictator, has, uh, the dictator has fallen. And once again, the proletariat rule the country. The cultish behavior of Stalin must be stopped and all its symbols must be removed. The cities named after Stalin and his followers need to be renamed to something more fitting. This is especially true for the city of Stalingrad. Um, Trotsky, no, we can't do that. <coughs> we can't do that or else we're uh, no better than Stalin. Volgograd is uh, the way to do this. Yeah. All right, now we gotta kinda get the country together here. So heavy industry is tempting because we need to get that back up and running, but going further down the political path is probably gonna help us out in the short term a bit more. St base stability, political power, Workers, government, factor, factory repair speed. Yes, this is what we need. We gotta get the Soviet Union back together as quickly as possible. I am slightly worried about what Germany's up to because they could steamroll us if they wanted to and we're now way behind thanks to the Civil War. But uh, at least we're not dealing with Japan. In fact, we might even have them on our side, so. One can hope, anyways. Let me get my drink here. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, natural ones only asking are the other countries on random or certain paths uh we switched off the historical settings so the other countries can do whatever they want we got japan communist for example is the biggest change that has, uh, has happened so far there was a big civil war in spain between like four different factions that was another thing also mexico i don't know what the u.s is doing i think they're going full neutral oh no they got roosevelt so i don't know we will see Slipitha saying Spain went battle royale mode. <laughs> yes, they did. And uh, the nationalists got their chicken dinner. I guess I should start building KV1s ahead of schedule. That couldn't hurt, right? Maybe we'll stick with the BT-7 just for now. I don't, I, man, I wish I was really good at this game. 
seeing someone like Mordred Viking play it, it's uh, inspiring because they know all the shit, but uh, I don't. But can we please repair stuff, guys? All right, so what's going on in the Union right now? We got a politicized military. That's no good. We're part of the Fourth International. That is good. A rehabilitated military. That's good. Five-year plan. The, the kind of good. Soviet Air Force is in a bad state. The Red Army is in a medium state. And factionalism is kind of rough. We need to start getting our political uh, people into power here so we can get, you know, captains of industry and... Nikolai uh, Bukharin might be our man because he's going to increase political power again. Actually, a lot of these folks will. The Munich Agreement. Fine. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Okay, well, good luck, buddy. I like Hungary. I should play as them. Lead them to defeat real fast. Alright, let's speed things up slightly. Okay, who do I want? Khrushchev, Vorosa, whatever. This guy, this guy. Uh, let's see. So we got Captain of Industry. He's going to help with construction speed. That's pretty much a must. Khrushchev, communism and support. That's good. Um, I like the research speed on this one. And the reduced factionalism. Yeah, let's get him. All right, Builder of the Red Army or Reigniting the Revolutionary Spirit. Years of Stalinist rule have dulled the revolutionary zeal of our people. Our workers were told that the revolution would happen eventually. We know this is not the case. It is in the current global level of development. The revolution must be ignited in other countries that are not as far developed. Weekly manpower, division attack for only a year versus... Whatever it may become in the meantime, the Red Army will always be the brainchild of Liev Trotsky, or Leon Trotsky. Uh, I think we're going to do this. Improved worker conditions. Yes. And we got a lot of army experience. I should do something with that. Okay, so we are gonna... Oh, we can't yet. Let's get everyone training. Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. Oh, fuck. All right, France, it's all on you, baby.
God damn, I need more factories. Okay, we got some free dockyards. The Soviet Navy is not going to be a thing for quite a while, so I think we need to move to convoys. Convoys and submarines. Man, I wish I could change my flag. Better guns, hell yeah. Imperial Quantung Territory has declared war on Sinkang. I don't know what this means, but it can't be good. Hey, Communist China's holding on. Good for them. Though without the Japanese invading, I don't know if they can make it. Okay, what do we got now? Depoliticize the military. System decentralization. Okay, what is our... Okay, we got the... Uh... I want to go to the Supreme Soviet. That seems awesome. Strengthen the trade unions. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, I could restore democracy. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, all right. Let's try to become a good Soviet Union. I don't know. This might ruin the country, but uh, hey, them's the breaks, right? We can finally start building new factories. That's a bonus. Oh, United Kingdom disavows appeasement. Good for them. All right, let's get a new tank on the on this thing here. Uh. Improve medium tank. The medium cannon. And radios. And... Additional machine guns. Sloped armor. This thing's gonna be expensive, I guess, right? Cast armor, or... Well, we'll do welded. Diesel gasoline. Diesel, okay. Give us more armor, maybe.
And we're going to call this the T-34, why not? T-34-A. T-34-the-38. All right. Yeah, Soviet industry needs to get its shit together, but, uh... Let's also revise this a bit. And we'll add, whoops. Medium tanks. And motorized recon. Roman would saying you should consider improving that tank further. You had a lot of reliability to spare. You think so? All right, this is the first tank I've ever constructed, but, uh, you know, let's, uh... I guess I'd have to create a new variant of it. What do you mean reliability to spare? Oh wait, I can actually... That's cool, okay. It's reliability is 142. Oh, I see if you have over 100% reliability. Oh, that how, okay, I get ya. I get ya. What if we give it a heavy gun? Would that be crazy? Nah, we'll stick with medium. Turret. Oh! Three man turret. This is cool. This is really... <laughs> Our reliability is still 142. And the sucker's gonna be... How come I can adjust the engine and armor, but not the gun? Alright, I've invented the T-34. Reliability is at 124. We'll keep that for now. I don't want to go too crazy before I know what the hell I'm doing. It's a cool system, though. I like that a lot. Oh, that's bad. The Imperial territories are on the Axis. Huh. Oh, shit. Which means I do have an Eastern problem again. Well, my Western problem is a bigger deal. Democracy is returned to the Soviet Union. That's what I like to see, everybody. Good work. Strength and heavy industry. Yes. Hey, Sindarin. Thanks for the bits. 
Some contributions to the cause. The motherland calls. Watch out for that German fellow. Think he's plotting something. You think so? I don't know. This seems trustworthy if I've ever seen it. All right, let's modify the government further. Actually, let's uh, mobilize to a war economy as soon as I can afford it. Better machine tools as well. Hey, thanks for following Mike Engineer. Mike Engineer, I want to say. Welcome to the Institute. Enjoy the uh, follower emotes, which you should have access to. The fate of Czechoslovakia. Well, there it goes. Germany's doing very well. I don't love this. Wormwood asking, what happened to Yugoslavia? I have no idea. I must have missed that one. Nationalists seize the Polish government? This can't be good. Ah, damn it. Okay, this is no good. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Need more army experience. Is this kind of the way to do it? No, I want to mobilize. That's what I'm doing. All right, more factories are working now. That's good. All power to the Soviets. Uh, we're not quite there yet. I think we need to go to the other industrial stuff. We haven't even done like transpolar flights and stuff yet. So heavy industry. I don't even have an intelligence agency yet. How do I even build one of those? That's uh, something I've kind of forgotten here. I thought it was a decision, but I could be wrong. Intelligence agency. Oh, create agency. That'll do it. Okay. Uh, probably should have done that a lot earlier. This is concerning. I'm not certain I could defeat Poland, let alone Germany. Okay, what is happening here? The UK declared one Iraq and the Netherlands? Why the Netherlands? What happened there, man? But we might also be able to liberate Iran. Let's try liberating Iran, see how that goes for us. Mr. Zero saying they know what they did. I mean, I don't know what they did, but as long as someone knows. I'd love to be able to claim Iran before the UK does, but uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. 
infrastructure. No longer get the effects of the Fourth International. Hey, we got the NKVD going. Uh, what can they do for us? Not a whole lot at the moment. Yeah, we need a cryptology operations blueprint stealing. Army intelligence, Navy intelligence. Let's start with civilian intelligence. I really hope we're still a few years away from war. The danger here is that with Poland having apparently gone fascist, the Allies won't enter the war against me. So it'll be me versus the Axis with no help. The Molotov, Robin, Robin Trump Pact. What do I do here? What do you think? Uh, yeah. Huh. I guess I'm no better than Stalin after all. Alright, we're gonna try to claim Estonia. Okay, where's our cavalry? I swear I had some mountain division somewhere. Infrastructure effort is done. Finish the five-year plan. Ooh, this guy's a seducer. Safe cracker. Natural order. Double agents, is that good? Infiltrator. Well groomed. Ah, let's get this guy. Orcus 1160 saying the seduction is all in the stash. Hey, that's where it always is. Okay, what happened? Netherlands capitulated. Oh, shit, it's already 1939. When did that happen? Okay. Estonia, are you going to join the winning team?
Not enough equipment. Fuck, I'm missing a lot of stuff. If war breaks out, I am in real trouble. Poland refuses German ultimatum. German wreck declared war on Poland. Okay, at least that's good. Okay, Poland did join the Allies, even though they're fascist. I guess that all worked out. Iran, Iran joined the Axis. All right, stuff's happening here. We are no longer justifying against Iran. Japan joined communist China as opposed to us. Fuck, that's a bit of a letdown. Iraq joined the Axis. Netherlands capitulated again. Good for them. <laughs> Latvia joined the mutual assist. Everyone's joining. Okay, we're losing control of the situation. And also, who the hell is invading? Oh boy. This is a bit of a mess. I might actually save scum here for just a second here, folks, if you'll forgive me. I want to see if I can uh, change the situation just a bit. For example, can I get... Oh, no, they won't join my faction. Um, minus 56. Probably not much I can do in that amount of time to swap them over here. Hey, they're also mostly fascist rather than communist. That's kind of strange. Hmm. You can probably stop training the entire army here. Wormwood fans saying, no, really, joining China might be the winning move. I don't know about that. My honor compels me to not do that. China joins us. We don't join China. All right. Well, Germany's going to war against them. Looks like reloading that save didn't really get me much. Japan, last, uh, one last chance. Invite to faction. You're still at minus 52. Okay, yep, that's not happening. I might not actually invade Poland. I'll just let German, Germany give me this stuff afterwards. But I guess we will cancel justification on Iran. I need way more time. Way, way more time. Hey, we finished the five-year plan.
national specialists. Uh... Or foreign experts. Military and civilian up by five or... Improve the railway network. Develop the Earl's Eastern development. Yeah, we'll do national specialists. Stick with who we know. China joined the German Reich. That's kind of fucked up. This is a weird war going on. Mexico joins the Allies. All right, I need to uh, organize the Air Force. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so we'll start uh, with Kiev. They will get 100 fighters and two bombers. Belarus, about the same. Leningrad. Moscow. Some older fighters. Kuban region. Some older fighters. Strategic bombers over here. Orcus 1160 saying, what about your fleets, Mark? What's the Soviet Navy looking like? Probably pretty dire. I'm, I'm not really much of a Navy expert. Uh, so I tend to ignore them. And they're not something I can really afford to put any attention into at the moment. Fall of Warsaw. There goes Luxembourg. Damn, Cairo fell. Deep little politicize the military. That's a good idea. Luxembourg capitulated. That makes sense. I'm really relying on France here to save my ass. There goes Belgium.
Construction three. Construction four. Do I declare war on Estonia? Wasn't there a way I could just annex this? I guess that's an event that I didn't uh, get. Oh, Germany honored the pact. Okay, well, good for them. Huh, okay, well, if the event didn't fire off here... Huh, still at minus 45 here. I guess we'll stop improving relations with Japan. It's not getting as much. We'll focus instead to Latvia. And I really should have taken uh, a Lithuania first, but live and learn. We got the justification we need. Thanks for following this chain, I want to say. Bulgaria joins the Axis, great. And Roaming Imperial, thanks for following as well. Enjoy the new uh, follower emotes we got somewhere. Oh, there goes France. Dear, dear. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? I need new stuff. This is looking bad. But I have nowhere near the equipment. All of Paris. Hey, the Franco-British Union's happening. Good for them. Turkey delivered an investment portfolio. Okay. Representatives from Turkey have visited our country and met with many of our politicians in the hope of garnering endorsements for their investment scheme. The government of Turkey would like for us to use our resources to better their own industrial capabilities and output. All right. I feel like I'm in a terrible spot. We won the Civil War, but we just don't have the military strength to resist Germany. a lot more factories very quickly.
just chain saying if I'm not mistaken you can't get rid of a military debuff if you're not playing Stalin it's broken right now we're about to find out I think I did that get rid of it I, I just researched it rehabilitated military let's see five-year plan Soviet Air Force Red Army yeah there's still some permanent resolute or revolution uh we need more industry more industry always more industry third five-year plan defense in depth okay we got that going I like the new way they're handling doctrines as separate from research that's uh that's good RTD2 fans saying no more politicized military but you still get the red army debuff okay so when I lose this campaign we're gonna blame it on that but you know what we're uh at the two hour mark or a little over so I'm gonna save this game here this was Soviet stream one and let's bring back the HUD uh now normally uh the stream would end here but on wednesday we had some technical issues with our warhammer total war 2 hammer stream uh so i'm actually going to switch to that uh if you aren't aware i've been currently building a goblin empire as skarsnik and this is going to be the final stream of, of that we're about to attack rk on the ever chosen so uh what's going to happen is in a couple seconds here the outro is going to play but that's just for the benefit of uh, the folks watching over in the archives. Then we're going to uh, take a five minute break and we'll be back very shortly with uh, Warhammer Total War 2. So yeah, outro is going to go. Pay it no mind. Stream's still going. Never mind, I broke it. How do I make that work? <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> 